Hello friends, we have with us Dr. S.K. Rathor, he is the Founder, Chairman and MD of Stanford Group of Schools. Sir, how are you feeling to witness the new Normal Education Leadership Summit and Award in Delhi? Yeah, thank you so much uh, for inviting me and uh, I would like to tell you uh, when uh, Chandan and Ashish were planning to have their first event two years back, then uh, they met me and they were known to me for last so many years. They met me and they explained me uh, they are planning to start their own venture. And uh, I am very happy to see the kind of growth these two people are doing and your company is doing uh, in just a short period of two years. And today's event is much, much, much better than the first one because the first one was the first physical event after the COVID. And I, I, rather I, I, I must say that, that was the first physical event of the industry that uh, at that point of time so i think and uh, i have uh, wished on the from the stage itself uh, i look forward to see a much bigger uh, event and much uh, bigger audience uh, what you have today next year so as you know the theme of our event is india vision 2030 so uh, what should be the vision for the school education sector how is sanford group uh, looking at it See, uh, uh, when we talk about the country's uh, vision, vision of our Prime Minister who uh, has come up with uh, national education policies after uh, more than three decades in the country and who has included uh, and given the most uh, importance to the early childhood education, first time in the education system. So, uh, I must say this should not be the vision of any particular group or any particular individual. Whatever we think, whatever we uh, visualize, that should be for the country. And uh, if I talk about all the private uh, schools, all the private uh, schools have uh, good infrastructures, most of the schools. All the uh, uh, schools have the budgets to invest in. Uh, and uh, the children coming in the, uh, our schools, uh, their parents are well enough, uh, well, well versed to, uh, you know, fund their education. But we cannot uh, think about these schools only. Uh, see, 70-80% uh, of uh, our population is in uh, government schools or uh, maybe in budget schools or rural area or uh, children from less privileged uh, category. So, uh, what I, I have spoken from the stage also, I have requested everybody, yeah. see uh, one school, uh, private school, uh, you know, progressive school should handhold one uh, budget school or uh, one government school or one school in the rural area to help them to bring their level up so that the children from the less privileged uh, section of the society should also be benefited. Then only the national education policy will become the national education policy. Mm -hmm. Any document cannot become the policy. Uh, that policy should come on the ground and uh, government cannot do uh, sufficient uh, for the country of 142 crores. So uh, this is the, you know, uh, this is the duty of every educator, every private institution to help government schools, help underprivileged uh, children to come up and uh, bring them uh, up to certain level at par with the children of uh, private public schools. Sir, as we all know, you have been uh, supporting us since the inception of the company and uh, today we are celebrating our second anniversary. So, uh, any message for Ardorcom Media Group? See, uh, Ardorcom is doing fantastic job and uh, I uh, believe you people will grow uh, multifold in next couple of years and uh, I wish you will become the premier uh, education conferences, seminar, uh, organization in the country. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir, for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Sir, just a photo.